Welcome back to Let's Play Fish Quest 11. My name is Karsten. Let's see if I can get up there on my own. You say our guest has finally recovered from his wounds? Then let us expedite the plan. It must be done, and soon. Your Majesty! Don't fear for me. I'm not done yet. Until my work is finished, I'll find the strength to carry on. I shall not be diminished. Ah, there you are, old friend. <laughs> or should I say, new fish? You make a finer flounder than I'd ever dared to wish. When first my subjects brought you here, it gave me such a shock to see you bruised and broken like a ship wrecked on the rocks. The Lord of Shadows thinks you dead. The sea swarms with his spies. I changed you to this fishy form to hide you from his eyes. Many troubled months have come and gone since your arrival. As you slept, my healers strove to safeguard your survival. You cannot know how glad I am to see you fully healed. But soon the spell will fade, and you must once more take the field. I have a plan to see you safe. That's all I've ever wished. If all goes well, you'll soon know what it feels like to be fished. Forgive my haste. These strange events must take you by surprise. You have so many questions. I can see it in your eyes. I saw you battle bravely by the World Tree's holy heart. I saw the Lord of Shadows tear your fellowship apart. saw you strive to fell the fiend, and how your plans were vexed. When you are ready, follow me to see what happened next. Well, let's continue then. Majesty's waiting for you in a private room. Just through these doors. Don't cause any trouble. Or you'll have me to deal with. Since last I brought a human to this cave. It is the private parlor of the Queen Beneath the Waves. Behold the Pearl of Wisdom, jewel of we the ocean's daughters. It lets its bearer view the world through any drop of water. I've summoned up a thunderstorm to saturate the ground. Now, let's ascend into the rain and take a look around. Whenever you are ready, touch your fin against the pearl. And you shall see what's come to pass there in your airy world.
The once fair land of Airdria is now a ravaged shell. When Mordigan destroyed its heart, the holy world tree fell. Upon its fall, the world was with a searing storm despoiled. Trees and grasses burned to ashes, lakes and rivers boiled. Burning boulders fell to earth and pulverized the land. Mountains cracked and realms were racked at his unholy hand. In one fell swoop, the Lord of Shadows ended countless lives. The lucky few who rode the storm out struggled to survive. Their days are filled with desperation, misery and tears. I see them quake and tremble, but I cannot calm their fears. Our homes are gone. Our families and friends, too. All we have left is our lives. We can't just sit down and die. We have to keep walking. We have to keep following the hero. They say he's built a fortress south of Heliodor. If we can make our way there, we'll be safe. Don't give up, okay? This hero guy won't let us down. Once we get to the last bastion, everything will be fine. You'll see. A few more short steps lead from darkness into dawn. Safe haven awaits. Amid the black depths of despair, a spark of light still shines. A man who gives the people hope in these benighted times. Yet that light too shall soon succumb to evil's ceaseless claim. Only you can take that spark and kindle it to flame. Yggdrasil has crashed to Earth. Her light has disappeared. In her place, the Lord of Shadows, Citadel of Fear. He took the sacred world tree's power and now makes it his own. Foul Mordigan commands the world from his unholy throne. His forces seek to steal the souls of every last survivor. His flying servants sweep the skies. The seas swarm with his divers. <laughs> 
Alizarin, the fiend that seeks to devastate my nation. Another one of Mordegan's detestable creations. I've cast a spell to hold him back, but need it to be stronger. The barrier's at breaking point and cannot last much longer. I'd hoped that I could save my realm. It was a foolish notion. Compared to his, my strength is but a raindrop in the ocean. Ere long, the barrier will fall, and Nautica will too. Marauding beasts may take my life, but they shall not take you. Our time grows short. I fear my kingdom's race is nearly run. My place is with my subjects now. We face our fate as one. Well, uh, things ain't looking good right now. Wanted to look around here. We can't go up any all the way here. I'm curious how far up it'll let me go. Oh, that far, okay. If I'll have to go gather my party members one or a few at a time again, or if I'll get them all at once, or what? subjects in the central square and she's about to make a speech. I beseech you to attend to and listen to her lecture. Everyone's assembled already, ready to hear her words. There's no time to worry. You have to hurry. How curious you are, my friend. I showed you fearful sights, and yet those wide and watery eyes still gleam with limpid light. It seems that grief and tragedy have followed you since birth. Cruel fate's dark plan has stalked you to the corners of the earth. And yet you've weathered every blow prevailed against all strife. You've brushed with death a thousand times, yet still you have your life. It is the will of Yggdrasil that you are still alive. It is your fate to save this world. For this, you must survive. Bright luminary, let the light shine on the world again. Find the fading sparks of hope and kindle them to flame. You'll find the sparks I speak of here and there throughout the land. They are the former members of your staunch and stalwart band. The fire within their hearts will light the path that you must tread. Find your friends and bring an end to this dark age of dread. <laughs> While the Luminary lives, there's hope for people still. You cannot fail. You must prevail. It is the World Tree's will. Beware! 
the barrier shakes and breaks. The Lord of Shadow's followers give fond farewell short shrift. I had so much to tell you, but it seems I must be swift. Do not lose heart. Do not look back until your time is through. Remember, you're the luminary. We believe in you. Well then. You know, I shouldn't make light of things. But it's kind of like Final Fantasy VI. Also in the fact that right after the world of ruin, there's a fishing thing. John's hooked himself a big one. Could it be the legendary man-eating mackerel? Let's reel him in and find out! Yes! I caught something! I actually caught something! Blue John's gonna eat tonight! Maybe there is some good in this forsaken world after all. Who, who the heck are you? And what are you doing on the end of my hook? I don't care how hungry you are, you don't go pinching the bait off another man's line. Hey, now. Don't cry, Sonny. <laughs> Look, I don't know what's got you sniffling, but it must be something serious. So listen, Blue John's gonna help you out. We fisher folk have got to look after each other, ain't we? You can stay the night in my hut. There's none too many safe places left in this rotten world. But it'll do you for a day or two. When you're ready, you can head over to the last bastion. They'll see you, right? The fella running the place is a bony Fido hero. Right, now that's decided. Let's head for shore. Hold on tight, lad. Things are about to get choppy.
All right. Well then. Looks like I do at least have my equipment. Oh, so we're here then. Begin your adventure anew and bring back the light to the world of Erdria. So you finally roused yourself from your slumbers, eh? <laughs> Blue John and say good morning. But there ain't no morning to speak of these days. You hadn't noticed. Why, we've seen nothing but dark skies since the day of the disaster. Just look at the state of it. There was an almighty booming and rumbling, and then great gouts of blackness started billowing up from the castle over in Heliodor. Since then, nothing's been right. That was the last time any of us saw the sun. That ain't good. We better hide, and fast. That was a close one. Them monsters started pouring out of Heliodor Castle about the same time as the blackness. The rotters seem to think they own the place. They've never come so near before, though. They'll be looking for food, I'll warrant. And there Blue John was, thinking he'd found himself a safe spot. Listen, uh... Seems the vittles round these parts are set to get mighty scarce. I hate to send you packing, Sonny, but I reckon you'd best be on your way. You'll be safer over at the last bastion, anyhow. Go on and get yourself over there before the monsters spot you. That hero feller'll look after you, I'm sure. He's a good un, that one. A spark of hope in these dark old times. Steer a course due west until you hit Cobblestone Falls. The last bastion lies just beyond. Mind how you go now, sonny. Okay. Who would have thought Slimus could grow so strong? Ever since the world tree fell from the sky, things have gone from bad to worse. Monsters around here got a lot nastier for a start. Like just now, I was standing around minding my own business when this rabid, wild-eyed slime jumped out at me. Ran for it and ended up here. Any beasties with flaming red eyes, you best run for it too. They hit a lot harder than they used to. Now to business. The Hmm. Might grab one of these just for safety. I run over and grab that get this uh, sparkly here. Then I'll head in the uh, direction that he suggested. Oh, came out of nowhere. Okay, these ones are not the strong variety, at least.
grab this. I'm curious. Uh huh. Well, I guess I'll be building up my uh, zoom locations again. In fact, hmm, can't view it yet. I think I may, uh, I may just take a break here. Pretty sure any, uh, cutscenes that we end up getting to are gonna take longer than a couple minutes so I hope you have been enjoying this as much as you can with the story going the way it is but thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you next time